This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at how to calculate the amount of substance. So we'll start the video by looking at how to calculate the amount in moles of a substance from its mass and molar mass. So in this equation, we have amount of substance in moles is equal to the mass of the substance divided by its molar mass. The unit for mass is usually grams and molar mass grams per mole. This equation can also be written as N, which is amount in moles, equals lowercase m, which is mass in grams, divided by uppercase m, which is molar mass. On the right, we have an easier way to remember this equation. Where N is amount in moles, lowercase m is mass in grams, and the uppercase m is molar mass. The equation that we looked at in the previous slide can be rearranged to calculate either mass in grams or molar mass. To calculate the mass in grams, multiply the amount in moles by the molar mass. And to calculate the molar mass, divide the mass in grams by the amount in moles. We'll look at the use of these equations in a separate video. So next, we look at some examples. The first example is to calculate the amount in moles of oxygen in a 16 gram sample. The first step is to determine the molar mass of the substance. Oxygen is a diatomic molecule, therefore we need to multiply the relative atomic mass of oxygen by 2, which gives us a molar mass of 32 grams per mole. In the next step, we divide the mass of oxygen by its molar mass. So that's 16 grams divided by the molar mass, which is 32 grams per mole. And this gives us the amount of oxygen, which is 0.5 moles. In the next example, we'll calculate the amount in moles of H2O in a 100 gram sample. So just like in the previous example, the first step is to determine the molar mass of H2O. The relative atomic mass of oxygen is 16, and for hydrogen it's 1.01. .01. So for the molar mass we have 16 plus 2 times 1.01, .01, which gives us 18.02 grams per mole. Next, we divide the mass in grams by the molar mass, which gives us an amount of H2O of 5.549 moles. In the last example using this equation, we have calculate the amount in moles of sodium chloride in a 50 gram sample. To determine the molar mass of sodium chloride, we add the relative atomic mass of sodium and chlorine, which gives us 58.44 grams per mole. Next, we divide the mass by the molar mass. And this gives us an amount of sodium chloride of 0.8556 moles. Next, we look at how to calculate the amount in moles of a substance from its volume and concentration. So the equation is amount in moles equals concentration in moles per decimeter cubed multiplied by the volume in decimeters cubed. This can also be written as N, which is amount in moles, equals C, which is concentration in moles per decimeter cubed, multiplied by V, which is the volume in decimeters cubed. Here we have an easy way to remember this equation, N equals CV. Note that the volume in this equation must be in decimeters cubed. To convert between centimeters cubed and decimeters cubed, multiply the volume in centimeters cubed by 1 over a thousand. For example, 1 centimeter cubed is equal to 0.001 decimeters cubed. The equation that we looked at in the previous slide can be rearranged to calculate concentration or volume. To calculate the concentration in moles per decimeter cubed, divide the amount in moles by the volume in decimeters cubed. And to calculate the volume in decimeters cubed, divide the amount in moles by the concentration in moles per decimeter cubed. The use of these equations will be covered in a separate video. In our first example, we'll calculate the amount in moles of hydrochloric acid in 100 centimeters cubed of a 0.5 mole per decimeter cubed solution. So the first step is to convert the volume in centimeters cubed to decimeters cubed. So 100 centimeters cubed is equal to 0.1 decimeters cubed. The next step is to multiply the concentration in moles per decimeter cubed by the volume in decimeters cubed. And this gives us an amount of 0.05 moles. 
In the next example, we'll calculate the amount of moles of sodium hydroxide in 50 centimeters cubed of a 2 mole per decimeter cubed solution. So we'll start by converting the volume from centimeters cubed to decimeters cubed. We then multiply the concentration in moles per decimeter cubed by the volume in decimeters cubed. And this gives us an amount of 0.1 moles of sodium hydroxide. In our final example, we'll calculate the amount of moles of sodium chloride in 60 centimeters cubed of a 0.850 mole per decimeter cubed aqueous solution. So the first step is to convert the volume in centimeters cubed to decimeters cubed. We then multiply the concentration in moles per decimeter cubed by the volume in decimeters cubed, which gives us an amount of sodium chloride of 0.0510 moles.